Have you ever gone to a diner or a restaurant with a really big menu? You know, one of those 10 pagers? And the more you look at the menu, the harder it is to decide whether you want a club sandwich or the French toast or the prime rib dinner or the spaghetti and meatballs. All those basic options solve the problem of hunger, but those options are vastly different from each other, and one may just not be right. Like, if you're gonna go for a run, maybe not eating the prime rib dinner is the right move. Here at OWC, we take pride in the fact that we have external storage solutions for pretty much every workflow you can imagine. But one side effect of having as many solutions as we do is you, the customer, can possibly be overwhelmed by the plethora of options available. In this video, I want to take a 30,000 foot view of all of our external storage products. Hopefully by the end of this video, you will have a broader understanding of all the products that we offer and the differences between them. You'll understand what each of them are capable of and really see exactly what problem each solution is built to solve. Depending on what you use external storage for, there may be some specs that you haven't thought of, and maybe we'll uncover some possible improvements to your workflow. Whether you came here to learn about a specific solution we offer, or just learn more about external storage in general, we're glad to have you here, so let's go. The first thing we're gonna consider is form factor, which is the product size. This part of the decision-making process is pretty intuitive. The right choice can be made by answering two questions. Are you on the go or working from one location? And how much room do you have? When you go furniture shopping for your studio apartment, you're not gonna buy a couch that's built for a mansion. It just won't fit. Similarly, if you're constantly on the go, the pocket-sized Envoy Pro Electron is gonna make more sense than something like a PC tower-sized Thunder Bay Flex 8. There's also a world where both products are integrated into your workflow, but we can table that combo for another day. If you are in one place most of the time, you're gonna be best served with one of our desktop drives. Take a look at the Thunder Bay family of drives, the Thunder Blade, or the Mercury Elite Pro Quad, or even the rack-mounted Flex 1U4. Now, if you're on the go, you're gonna to wanna to take a look at our portable and bus-powered solutions. The Envoy family of drives has lots of thumb-sized, pocket-sized, and portable bus-powered drives. What is bus-powered, you ask? Great question. Those are the drives that don't require an external power supply. Your computer powers them when you plug them in. At OWC, we have drives that range in size from thumb size to server room, with every option in between. So once you decide on the size that's right for you, we can move on to the next criteria, which is speed. Vroom vroom. An incredibly important but often overlooked feature of external storage is read and write speed. It's easy to look at a drive from the outside and think they all do the same thing. But I assure you, some drives are more like a city bus, as they're capable of handling lots of data, but they aren't the fastest things in the world. And some drives are like Formula One cars, where they have one job, to go fast. Some can do both. At OWC, we got you covered if you need a city bus that can go fast with something like our Thunder Bay Flex 8. To continue this metaphor, let's call this one the bullet train. It goes fast, has huge capacity, and it looks good to boot. Okay, I think the metaphor is completely dead. Back to speed. Measured in megabytes per second, this speed rating can have massive implications on your workflow. Choosing a drive that is too slow for the task at hand can cause frustration and an unpleasant, or in some cases, impossible work experience. Cue the beach ball. It's imperative to check your read and write speed when selecting external storage. Faster is always better, but you might not need to go quite as fast as some of our products do, depending on your needs. So here's a handy guide that covers some, but not all of the use cases as it pertains to speed. 0 to 200 megabytes per second is for basic H.264 HD video, stills, and audio. 200 to 500 megabytes per second will work for H.264 4K video, higher resolution stills, and pro audio. 500 to 1000 megabytes per second will be able to handle ProRes 4K video, burst raw photos, and things of the like. 1000 to 2000 megabytes per second is for raw 4K to 8K video and VFX workflows like DPX or EXR. 2000 to 2800 megabytes per second is for when you're working with raw 8K and bigger video and things like immersive VR style content. High speed is also for shuttling content, moving big project files and the like. Depending on your workflow, fast may be good enough, but when it's critical, faster is always better. Now, just because it's worth mentioning, we also have products like our Excelsior 4M2 and 8M2, which are internal, and they use NVMe-based storage over PCI, which can produce read and write speeds of up to 20,000 megabytes per second. This is basically as fast as data can travel. Now, these solutions are technically internal storage, so we won't go into that in this video, but check out the Express 4M2 if you want external storage as well. Connectivity. A major contributor to speed is the type of connection and the cable you use to connect your external storage solution to your workstation. 
There are a ton of interfaces by which you can connect external storage to your workstation. For the sake of this video, we are going to focus the conversation on USB and Thunderbolt, which are the most common interfaces you will see on most modern computers. USB 3.2 can be either 1000 megabytes per second or 500 megabytes per second, and then Thunderbolt is quite a bit faster at up to 2800 megabytes per second. These often look exactly the same in terms of connection, so it's important that you check the specs of your drive and workstation before you make a purchase. If your computer isn't specifically Thunderbolt certified, a Thunderbolt drive simply won't mount. Our Envoy Pro FX solves all those problems. It's the fastest and most compatible bus power drive on the market. It basically works with everything. Now, I bet you heard the term RAID before, and you're wondering, do I need one of those? RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks. This configuration of multiple drives within a single enclosure will ensure that your data is protected in the event of one drive failing. So make your own decision. Powered by our software called SoftRAID, it's a nifty way to make sure your data is backed up. Now, depending on what stage of data storage you're at, you may or may not need a RAID, and we'll go more in depth in another video about the benefits of RAID. But I must stress to you the importance of always having some version of a backup. You don't want to lose your data because you only had one copy. Finally, let's talk about price. Our range of external storage is priced to be able to cater to every single type of user at every budget level. But the reality is, more capacity means the drives will get more expensive. Additionally, faster drives tend to cost a little bit more as well. So it stands to reason that multi-drive desktops will be more expensive than single-drive desktops or portables. So the TLDR is you have to check your boxes of size, speed, connectivity, and capacity, as well as price. And then be certain that OWC has the external storage solution that's right for you. From everyone here at OWC, thank you for watching and happy hard drive hunting.